Hey, business owners, watch this video before you enter Chinese market. I've noticed a lot of business owners repeatedly making the same mistake, and you might be one of them. Why? It's often because they don't have a basic understanding of how things operate here in China. I'm not talking about fully understand like becoming a Chinese marketing expert, but having a certain perspective on how online business works here in China. I've had clients who reach out to me with the same strategy they use in the West. Like they wanted to build a Chinese website and invest in the SEO. And furthermore to the email marketing, paid advertising, and social media marketing and so on. So that they can generate traffic to their website and increase the sales. It sounds makes sense, right? But now what I'm saying is it doesn't work in China if you wanted to target the local Chinese. So what I'm saying is like many business owners are so used to how things work in the Western world. However, China has a totally different like digital ecosystem when it comes to online business. I know you probably think with over 1.4 billion potential customers and the expanding Chinese middle class. And the story about a lot of big companies have entered Chinese market who achieved great success. However, small to medium sized business who doesn't have a global team or business consultant like those big companies relied on often make costly mistakes when they enter Chinese market. By the time they realize that the same strategy doesn't work in China, it's usually too late. So in this video, I'll share three important facts about online business in China. Some of them might surprise you. So make sure to watch till the end. It might make a whole lot of difference in your Chinese business journey. The first one, mobile focused digital world. In China, we've had a super fast digital journey from the past to today. About 50 years ago, in my grandpa's generation, most people are still struggle to get the basic like food. Not to mention seeing any electronic device like computers back then. But fast forward to my generation, everyone had a smartphone. So in China, a lot of people had their smartphone first, even before they had any computer. So in the West, like computer or anything with bigger screen is still popular. So people design advertising for the bigger screen, do the paid ads on the website. So China's digital world kind of skate this whole computer era and went straight to the mobile. In China, almost everything happened on the smartphones like shopping, socializing, read news, watch videos, anything you can imagine. For example, like some of our e-commerce platforms who doesn't even have a website, they only design the app for people to access on the smartphone. So that's why I'm saying some business owners try to build their Chinese website and sell their product there. It gets really tricky because shopping on the website is not an option here in China. Okay, just remember what I'm saying just in general. I'm not saying PC or computer is gone forever. I believe there are still some niche industries who attract customers on the PC on the website. It all depends on who you're trying to target and what's your customer's behavior. Second, the power of social media marketing. Social media marketing, especially KOL marketing, plays a significant role in the digital marketing in China. As I mentioned above, China operates within a mobile-focused digital world, where social media, growing with the mobile usage, naturally becomes the primary marketing method for a lot of business. So in China, when we talk about digital marketing, the focus is primarily on social media. And among all the social media efforts, KOL marketing stands out as the best option. In China, KOL, K opinion leaders, think of their like cool kids in the school. Their opinion truly matter. These individuals have a great influence on consumers' behavior. When they endorse a product and share their thoughts, people pay attention and trust their recommendation, and often make purchases based on their advice. Now you might wonder what's the major platform for KOL marketing. There are Xiaohongshu, Zhihu, Douyin, Bilibili, Weibo, WeChat official account. For example, Xiaohongshu, aka Little Red Book, is a go-to choice for a lot of international business in China. Why? Xiaohongshu cater to a relatively niche audience, targeting higher income and middle to upper class Chinese consumers which align with the target audience of a lot of international brands in China. So you may consider it as well. Now let's look at the KOL marketing in action. 
Do you know that Chinese unicorn companies like Hua Xizi, Floresis, Perfect Dairy, Wanmei Ruji, and Genki Forest, Yuanqi Senlin, are started from the scratch and went IPO in just a few years? How did they do that? Through the art of the KOL marketing. This brand spent billions annually to build their reputation, primarily with the KOL marketing. They leverage the power of KOL to spread their brand message, and both they become the household names in China. Last one, the content censorship and regulation. Firstly, something we cannot change, that is a great firewall. People cannot access to Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Google. The second one is sensitive topics. It often because some Western brands do not understand Chinese cultures. This even happened to huge international brands who have been on Chinese market for years. An extreme example is Dolce & Gabbana. They had an advertising campaign about eating with chopsticks. But they using chopsticks in a totally wrong way that Chinese people think is stereotype and even racist. And as a result, Chinese started a social media protest and saying like, get out of China. I remember they quit Chinese market after that. I'm not sure, I'll check it out later. So when you enter the Chinese market, you should be really careful about the content and the topic. That's why have the access to someone who is professional either in the Chinese business or Chinese market that is really important. Anyway, to succeed in China, you must consider these facts. And just a little reminder, there is no quick wins. If you want to enter Chinese market, you got to commit to it with research, paperwork, planning, and investment. Last but not least, in my opinion, social media is really the easiest way to enter Chinese market because you can test if the customer are buying or not. Okay, I'm Zoe, a social media manager. Feel free to contact me anytime if you have any question about Chinese social media marketing. Make sure to check my website, I share a lot of resources. And follow me on Instagram and YouTube. Bye, see you next time.